What's going on guys, Dagan07 here, back at you with another Phantom Bot tutorial. I know it's long overdue guys, you guys have been asking for it. Um, and this is the tutorial that I was actually waiting on um, because Phantom Bot has finally released a major update. They just released 3.0.0 about five days ago from uh, today. It's uh, uh, March 10th, 2019 like 3 20 in the morning i know i'm up a little late later than i should so i just kind of wanted to show you guys this is the new dashboard um after after i show you how to uh update it um we will i'll, I'll go through the i'll go through the dashboard um just kind of really really fast um but you can see it looks completely different than what it used to um Unfortunately, I didn't save the last one. You can check out my previous video to see what the, the previous dashboard used to look like. But I'm going to quickly run you uh, run through how to update this uh, this platform. It's actually really, really easy. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. I've already logged into my Google Cloud Platform dashboard. So we're going to go to App Engine, not App Engine, excuse me, Compute Engine, VM Instances. And this is going to be my uh, instance right here, instance one. And I'm just going to click on the arrow next to SSH and open in a browser window. I already have one open here. Let me clear this out. Actually, let me just close it out. How about that? Okay. So we'll do it from scratch here. So open in a browser window. It's going to open up that window here. Give it a second. There we go. So I'm going to ls to show um, the the contents of this root directory that we're working in. Um, I'm actually going to uh, remove this phantom bot zip folder here. So if I ls again, we don't have that phantom bot. So we can actually start completely from scratch. So here's the change log from phantom bot. It was released five days ago. And um, the biggest change with this is the this new dashboard. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the update. So the first thing that we want to do is we're actually we can actually go back to the setup guide there's still gonna be some things here that uh, are gonna apply to us right so the first thing we want to do is just scroll down to um, step 4 installing phantom bot and where we've already done all this if you followed my previous tutorial the the commands that that we're gonna need are basically gonna be like these commands pretty much right here actually down to here right so let's go ahead and get started um, we need to w get that um, that URL so they actually have it right here I'm just gonna copy this link address here but if you look in the bottom left corner of my screen you'll see HTTPS github.com slash phantom bot yada 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 so I went ahead and copied this link copy it again just be on the safe side bring this window back up and we want to just wget and we're going to paste that link in and now you can see that we've downloaded it we can ls and we can actually see it here phantom bot 3.0.0 okay next we want to unzip it so with the with this terminal we can actually copy just by highlighting it, it says we copied it and we just want to type unzip space control V enter and we have all of that um, inflated the next thing we need to do is we need to copy the configuration file so if we look 
let's go into phantom bot to the original phantom bot folder so cd phantom bot right ls and the thing that we want to look for is this config folder here right so we want to cd config and the things that are most important is this bot login.txt and these uh, phantom pot.db files here those are the most important files um, that we need so let's clear all this out here let's go up to so we need to move that basically the contents of that config file to the content to the config uh, to the config folder of phantombot 3.0.0. We can easily do this. I've already opened it up. So the way you copy a folder and all the contents within that folder is you use cp space hyphen a flag, the a uh, flag option. So it gets all the recursive file directories and files in there. And these are just standard um, Linux commands. So here open this up so what we want to do is we want to do cp for copy a dash a for all files pretty much and we want to copy phantom bot slash config slash dot to say okay we want everything within that folder and then we're going to do space this is saying like two and phantom bot dash three dot zero dot zero and and capitalization is in, extremely important with this and we want to put this in the config folder that's in there we got no errors so let's go into so we're gonna I'm gonna copy this little bit right here to copy it so highlight it automatically copies it CD space control V so now you can see we're in that folder ls to see what we're in that what's in the folder and just like that we've copied over um, those configuration files so now let's uh, cd up twice to get back to our root here this little squiggly means we're in our root and we need to get rid of this old phantom bot folder and the way we do that is rm dash r so rm stands for remove and then dash r means recursive so what re recursive means is everything within that folder so let's go ahead and bring that up so rm whoop, dot caps locked rm space dash r phantom bot okay now if we ls now you can see that the that the standard phantom bot folder is gone coming back over to the setup guide over here um, we need to basically move that phantom bot folder into a new phantom bot folder which will automatically be created basically renaming the folder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it to copy it because I'm lazy and we're going to say mv control v to phantom bot just like that now you can see that we've renamed basically renamed it there's no phantom bot dash 3.0.0 folder it's just phantom bot the next thing we have to do is we actually have to go into that phantom bot folder like so and we need to chmod the two files in there that actually make it work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close out of this dashboard real quick, just so we can kind of load it up from scratch here. Paste that in there. Okay, we didn't do something right here.
Let's see. All right, let's do this. MP. Dot zero three dot zero dot zero two here. Again, capitalization matters. Oops. There we go. All right, let's remove that phantom bot folder. Okay. And we want to MV. Copy it to Phantom Bot CD. All right, there we go. So now we can copy this CH mod here, copy that, paste it, no errors. So what we should be able to do now is we can come down here and let's go ahead and just restart Phantom Bot. We can actually copy this, copy this command here. And we're going to restart Phantom Bot. So what we actually need, let's try reloading this real quick here. Let's run this command as well, just to be on the safe side. And let's do this. And where's my phantom bot? There we go. Let's just try launching it manually, which um, we can see. I don't know why I left that. We can launch it manually just by doing the dot slash launch dot sh. And as you can see, um, we have it working. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. okay. So up oh, here, this is what we need to do. We need to stop Phantom Bot. Give it a second. And we're gonna go ahead and just start it. Open up a new folder or uh, uh, tab, and just like that, we are good to go. Hit Control Panel, and now we're seeing the new panel. And uh, let's quickly go through this. They've actually done a, quite a lot to this. Um, I'm a huge fan of dark mode whenever it's available, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch it to dark mode. Um, so this is the new dashboard shows your if you're offline or online how many views you've got viewers or excuse me followers and viewers um, all of your events so I'm going to reverse sort those events stream information here so you can change the title and the game um, quick actions and then run a, you know you can run your commands your preview your chat set up custom commands here aliases for other commands and you can actually view all of um, phantom bots gazillion of default 
gazillion default uh, commands. Then you have moderation stuff. Whitelist people, blacklist people, permissions for certain users, set up timers for messages, um, chat alerts, your loyalty. So minus Shurukins, as you can see, the, the database did take hold because it's saving, it saved my actual currency. It actually saved all my permissions and moderations and commands. So that's how you know everything Im imported properly. Um, just going through here. Save that. Ranking, global, quotes, keywords. So if somebody says hello, you can set up certain triggers if, if a certain word is said. Different games for the chat, different giveaway things. They've done a really good job uh, integrating the chat into the, the, the right areas. Um, your Discord integration, history of tips, hosts, and raids, um, your dual stream or multi stream stuff here, death counter, highlights, polls, betting, queue, audio. So you still have your audio hooks. They just uses browser sources now. Song requests. Oh, they, uh, I think they might have fixed it. So, um, while we're doing this, why don't we just go ahead and get the YouTube stuff working here? Select project drop down plus button. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So. I'll let you guys do this because I don't want to. I don't want to reveal my API key um, as I'm doing this, but I'm so glad that it looks like they might have fixed this. So looks really good. Uh, and about dashboard. Let's get that out of here. Um, certain settings like bot settings. Commands, modules, localization. So um, they did a really good job with this um, bot update. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Um, if you that that that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via the comment section. I do read every single comment. I um, appreciate you guys supporting me. Uh, if you like these videos and you want to see more videos, please help me out by subscribing to my channel, following me on Twitch, um, subscribing to me on Twitch. It really helps. Um, there's also a donate button that's uh, down in the description below as well. And uh, like I said, really do appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video. Um, hit me up, Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube comment section um i'm on all of it so and i will get your uh question answered as best as my as best as i can or to the best of my ability and um you know again thank you guys for hanging out y'all have a wonderful night